Oh boy, I hope y'all are ready for this one. Hello Chaos Gang and welcome back to my bullshit. My name is Sybil and today I'm here alone. If you want any of Ali or I's socials, they'll be linked down in the description below. Speaking of Ali, they just restocked their tarot reading, so if you want one, uh, link is in the description. So today we're gonna talk about my favorite thing, gender roles. You know, I love conforming to them. I love doing them. I love being the pretty princess with the rich husband who's big and strong while I stay home and bake. Okay, so disclaimer before we get into this, I actually do not care if you follow gender roles or your ideal life is following traditional gender roles. I couldn't care less if that's what you want for your life. Now, the problem comes into play with the TikToks that I pulled today. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Yeah, my problem is when other people try to impose gender roles on other people. Or they're like, the world is failing, society is failing, oh my god, you cut your hair and you wear sweatpants? You know the kind of person I'm talking about. And if you don't, let me introduce you to some. That's right, today we're going over traditional gender roles TikTok. Also, as always, some of these audios I have to completely remove or change just due to copyright. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Oh my god, it's starting already. My hatred. Feminism isn't a man-hating movement, by the way. That's called being a misandrist. I know, I know, the word fem, fem is in there, so that scares you. But I promise, you can do it. You can Google the word. Also, to say all modern-day feminists are playing victim is pretty fucked up when you look at the violent crime rates against women and the sexual assault rates against women and the drugging of women and the report rate of women women gonna gonna say it's kind of fucked up that you just said all feminists just play victim this video isn't even about that <laughs> i just wow she just had a lot to say and i wish she didn't i believe in gender roles and modern day feminism rejects them here's the thing you can live in your little gender role world you can do that but the problem becomes when you're sitting there upset that modern day feminists reject it or people in general are starting to reject it and the fact you're upset about that tells me that you care about what other people are doing a little too much live your little life and try not to be a bitch about it. That one was a hefty start to the video. Oh well, moving on. <sighs> wow. I have a lot of people to disappoint today. Yep, you're right about that one. I just think these women that are anti-feminist are the ones that typically are privileged. Just, I love knowing that by saying that word, some of them just got triggered and get to live a life. A lot of these disparities don't necessarily affect them. But once that's a different video. It's not even this video. It's just hard to disconnect the anti-feminist girls from the hate gender roles girls because they're typically the same person and they just interact twine you know this is them encourages traditional gender roles imagine somebody walking up to me and being like grow your hair out get yourself a nice man stop with all of this lesbianism okay and go fucking cook oh my god i like to cook already am i enforcing traditional gender roles on myself oh no it's just the way that they talk about current gender roles and the tie into feminism that I think is absurd and stupid. If you want to go bake some fucking cookies, go bake some fucking cookies. I baked cookies the other fucking day. But you don't see me making a video about how all women need to know how to bake and encourage traditional gender roles, which is the vibe they give me. And as you can expect, this is most of their content. I always feel like with these anti-feminist, yeah, traditional gender roles, aggressively conservative, like 80% of their content is them saying that they're those things, saying that they're a disappointment to the society because of it, but that they don't care, and being like, lips get owned. I feel like that's 80% that's of the content creators like this make. Oh, this dude's back. The alpha men TikTok, this guy was from that video or is in that video if you haven't seen it yet. If a woman is paying as many or more bills That's your roommate. than you and has That's shown partner. her track history and, and her capability shows she's as qualified if not more qualified to you than you to lead, is she still to be submissive just because you say that you're masculine and she, she is can more be. feminine? Um, should she still, like, should she? Yes. I mean, yeah, because at the end of the day, like I said, I, we had this conversation mm -hmm. similarly, we touched base on it very vaguely yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, my personal beliefs is your qualifications by society doesn't dictate your qualifications underneath this house. 
So just because you qualify to be a boss at your job doesn't make you the doesn't fulfill the qualifications that you're a boss in my in this house and where no, I. No, you said what you said. My in, house. In my house, in my house right? House. Where well, I was getting to there. You don't have to say stop you, me. Well, you don't have to stop me. No, the girl's right. Say what you said. You said my house. In my. In because you believe it is your house. Even if your partner is out there making more than you, paying some of the bills, you still in your head said my house, and you still think you're in charge because of your masculinity. This is something I've never understood about traditional gender roles, is the idea that one partner would be in control of the home. You know, this is my house, this is the man's house. Like I understand in traditional gender roles, maybe the man's paying for the house, but in traditional gender roles, the woman is also making the home and taking care of the home and taking care of the kids and baking and cooking and doing all the home duties. And so why does one person get to say it's my house over the other? The, if the man is paying Paying for the home technically like he pays for it but without the wife doing all of the wifely duties he's just working all day coming home to a pigsty buying McDonald's and passing out following traditional gender roles because then he can't do the cooking or the cleaning or any of that so then that house is not a home so how is it his house instead of your guys's house anyways that's just another rant about stuff stupid things having to do with that. But where I, yeah, yeah, I'm getting there, trust me. Where is this, where I live, this becomes mine. It's my kingdom. And it doesn't really matter if you make $150,000 a year and I make 30, or I make a million and you make 5 million, or whatever, or you make a million and I make 50. It does not matter. I believe that this is what I believe, which not everybody's going to also agree. Yeah, yeah, sure. I believe yeah, sure. that any men that's truly in his masculinity will always trump women who have masculine traits to the world. She will become feminine to him. This yeah. is Gross. First of all, using the word Trump when it comes to a person, like Trump somebody or Trump their feminine qualities or whatever, gross wording. Second of all, I love how he did this in the other video too, where he's always like, it's my preference, that is my opinion. And it's like, sure, you can think that way and you could feel that way, but it doesn't mean that it's not like a toxic mentality to want to trump a woman, bring down her masculine traits that she portrays to the outside world and make her feminine for you. I would also like to say that while this could be his opinion, his preference, it doesn't matter because when you're talking about trumping somebody's qualities, you're talking about changing them and directly making them different. So therefore, his opinion is that men should be trumping and changing women's qualities to fit their needs. So therefore, it affects a lot of different people. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! I, you, are, you, are, you submit 100%. to the you submit to the man that you are most comfortable with. And you I, submit to the man that you trust. So with that whole bill shit, let me, first of all, you tricked us. I do. I am all about partnerships, <laughs> but it you. goes with whatever you like in your own household. I if I if my if my husband says pay the rent, but I got all the bills, I'll pay the rent. He got all the bills. If he says, hey, handle some bills, I got the uh, everything else, I'll we'll do it. We go as a team. But if he says he wants, back to your point, salmon and I want chicken, then okay, we said, it go, you know, it's 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 a partnership. Oh, yeah. I don't do, when it when you look, look at the true definition of submission, it is you obey the authority. That is not my authority, that is my partner. Yeah. You don't so submit it, it to makes... a person, you submit to an idea, you yeah. submit to a union, the you relationship. submit to love. Yeah. You're not submitting to a human being. A so human you don't being. you submit right. to the process. Yep. So I don't because if you think it's submit as opposed to like I'm I'm a human, submit to another human, you'll you want to fight that because uh, the ego is so inflated because yeah. of the internet, right? True. So you're not submitting to a person, you're submitting to a process, and the process is love. Okay, that went weird. She says the salmon chicken thing, but then she reverts back to, but I'm not submitting because it's an equal partnership. I agree with the idea that it's an equal partnership and that you shouldn't have to submit to your partner. But right before that, she says that what he wants is what he gets. But then it goes to this guy and <laughs> Something he said that really caught my attention was when he said, you submit to the process because you can't submit to the person because your ego won't allow you because of the internet. He then calls that process love. First of all, you don't submit to love. You grow love. You partnership with love. You compromise with love. Love isn't one person just submitting to the other person or the process of love in order to obtain that love. That 
It feels like when people are just talking and not really making a point. I'm gonna be honest, that's what that felt like. The internet, ego. The thing with the internet where people are like, oh, it influences the ego. Yeah, sure. But the internet also tears down people's ego. Like you can see somebody with 5 million followers and look at their comment section and half the comments are saying, they're ugly, they're overrated. Why do people watch this? Blah, blah, blah. While the other half are people hyping them up. So you could argue that the internet influences the ego, but you could also argue that it completely tears it down and erodes it. Especially when we look at things like beauty standards on the internet or advertisements towards people, weight loss, gym ads, clothing ads, skincare ads, etc. So I don't agree with his statement really in the first place. But the wording that caught me was that we can't say you'll submit to another person. You have to change the wording to process because of the ego. I don't really think it's egotistical to not want to submit to your partner and let them be the authority. I feel like a partnership should be equal, an equal partnership. Not to blow your mind, um, I believe if you're gonna call it a partnership or a relationship, it takes two people to work together to make that thing and that nobody should have power over the other. All right, continuing on. So then I'll tell you why. The reason that you must be submissive is because everyone has their roles and the roles don't come out of thin air. The roles come directly out of biology. And let me show you why you are submissive. If I was there right now, I could make you submit. You ain't even got to take the option. I'll make you submit. And here's the difference. You can never flip the script and make me submit. You are designed weaker. You shall be dominated. And when you're unruly the way you are right now, you believe that, that's eh? why you will never get a man who is a high earner because he doesn't want to deal with an unruly woman. And I say this because I love you and I want the best for you. And you're a good looking woman. You can achieve so much. But that mouth ain't good looking. When you think that you can compete with a man and not submit, you might as well get into a relationship with a woman. Because that's the only being that's going to put up with feminist destroyed in general's debate. At what point did he destroy her? The part where he basically threatened violence by saying, I can show up and force you to submit and do what I want. He's talking about like high earners and like rich men and stuff like that. Is he really a SoundCloud rapper? Got it. Understood. When a SoundCloud rapper is telling what looks to be a beautiful, intelligent woman, that she cannot get a man, and especially not a high earning man at that, we have a problem. I'm sorry, but come on now. You're filming your TikTok in your kitchen, not your Lamborghini. So one, you're talking about men that you aren't even. You're not even that man you're talking about. You're not a millionaire. You don't have a wife. If this is your YouTube, you have 23 subscribers. And the only other place I can find you is on SoundCloud with 10 followers, if this is the man, which I believe it is because that's the name that's on the TikTok, so I can only assume. So one, you can't even talk from the perspective of that high earning man that you're saying she can't get because you haven't even become that man. Second of all, you're saying she's looking for that high earning man when she herself could be that high earning woman. I know I touched on this a little bit, but the fact that he goes straight to threats, he goes straight to very, very severe, like, I could be there right now and I could make you submit, basically threatening violence or insinuating violence and possible essay. Um, so sure, you have this Owens perspective guy that reposted this on TikTok saying, feminists destroyed in general's argument. But when you look at the comments, it's clear you didn't. No man should think like this, 534 likes. This man is unstable, very dangerous, 443 likes. How is he going to make her submit through violence? Once again, bringing up what I was bringing up, threatening her, 397 likes. Are we really boasting domestic violence and SA as male empowerment here? Are we doing this? Is this happening? 258 likes. And there are a total of 13,000 comments when the video itself only has 25K likes. That alone should tell you that this is really fucked up and also not true. I feel like there's more to break down with that video, but it's just so disgusting that I kind of just want to move on. So I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, this next girl, oh my God, I remember downloading these ones. I'm gonna play three of her videos for you. I'd like to start a petition to bring back this move. It's the only one I can do, thank you. It is in fact the only one she can do. I'd like to start a petition to bring back this move. 
It's the only one I can do, thank you. Oh, we're aware, we're aware. I think it's the only move she can do. <laughs> Once again, do not care if she lives her traditional gender roles lifestyle. Uh, issue is she's saying, we need to bring this back. We have to be supporting traditional gender roles again. Bring it back. Honey, it didn't go anywhere. If you are living traditional gender roles yourself, it's still here. If other people are still living the traditional gender roles lifestyle, it did not go anywhere. It may be happening less. Who fucking cares? Because at the end of the day, you're not, well, hopefully not, breaking into strangers' homes and watching them through binoculars, through a little slit in their closet door, wanting to know who's cooking and who's cleaning and who went to work that day, you could find a man that wants to enforce those uh, traditional gender roles. In fact, we saw two, two men that want those traditional gender roles. It's the fact that you're like, bring it back. No, no, no. I'm not gonna live my life like that. My girlfriend's not gonna live their life like that. My mom doesn't even live her life like that. Considering she works and her husband's retired, he likes to cook, they're not living like that. My girlfriend's family doesn't live like that. And the fact that you have the audacity to say that we need to bring it back and live like that because that's how it should be is just haberdash. Is that for my Carly? I feel like that was a haberdashery that is from my Carly. It's a real word, but you know. Also being like traditional gender roles are good. They could be good for some people who want to live like that, but traditional gender roles are good as a general statement. They are not. Traditional gender roles are what keep people from exploring different options and facets of their life. Saying traditional gender roles are good as a blanket statement means that the woman in college rate would not be what it is. Means that the women in the workforce rate would not be what it is. Meaning we'd have less scientists, doctors, nurses, and that's just from a healthcare standpoint, but obviously there's a million different facets of careers. It would mean we wouldn't have women in psychology. Psychology was male dominated. They never ran tests on women. So we are just now really starting to see what autism looks like in women how anxiety and depression can present different in women. Like these are things that we're still learning about because traditional gender roles kept women out of the workforce and kept them out of psychology. So therefore studies were only done on men by men. Same goes for healthcare. Traditional gender roles being good for yourself, awesome. Being good for the world, no. And that is just like the tiniest example that just came right off the dome where I was like, hey, this is really important. There's so much more than just that. She obviously makes more arguments. Um, I feel like there, it's just not the video for it. Feminism is a scam and you're a scab. Um, obviously we already talked about feminism a little bit in the earlier videos, so I'm just gonna slide past her. No one is obligated to support your lifestyle. This feels oddly directed at queer people, just based on one, your devilish smirk, and two, the rest of your account. I'm gonna make a whole video on um, whether or not it's homophobic to support or not support later on. So I'll be going over some of this at a different point in a different video. But I just love that she threw that in there. Sprinkle of homophobia. In my eyes, randomly being like, traditional gender roles are good. Feminism is a scam. They go together, you know? And then she's randomly like, nobody has to support your lifestyle. Somebody said, girl, it's not 1940. And she said, I wish it was. <laughs> Just quickly throwing things on the screen that tell you why you don't want it to be 1940. <laughs> no 1940. It is possible to serve your partner when you have a full-time job. He will be forced to do household chores, which should be your responsibility. As a woman, you should want to carry out these duties because they will give you more fulfillment than any job will. Stop what you want to do with your life for a relationship. I know that since you were a child, you've been working so hard to get your ideal career. I know you went to school and got your degree and put in the work and put in the hours. You stayed hungry. You devoured. You devoured. You devoured. But don't, because <laughs> how can you serve your husband then? Telling a woman to leave her career so she can go home and cook dinner? Really? I also love how she's like, then he will be forced to do what should be your duty. Forced? If you want to stay home and your husband wants to go to work, I don't fucking care. Literally live your best life. But to sit here and be like, you need to leave your career. <laughs> 
you need to leave your career. How else are you gonna be a good woman? How else are you gonna be a good woman? Her channel's called The Feminine Truth. Feminine duties. Feminism. Alpha male, alpha male. Oh my god, it's tied together. Everything's tying back. It felt tied because we got that one guy again. And now this just confirms it's tied again. Patriarchy, dating TikTok, healthy living, obey him, submit, obey him. Feminism, traditional gender roles, warm. I hated this. I'm gonna be honest, it got a lot worse than I thought it would. Like the short TikToks, you know, I saw them or I saw most of them when I was downloading them because I like to give a little bit of like a pure reaction to you guys. Uh, so I usually download them, wait a couple days before I film these videos. But I will say the video that was like three minutes long of like the, the podcast and the guys and the girls sitting down and talking, I only watched the first five seconds of that when I downloaded it because I wanted it to be a pure reaction. And what the fuck? Same with that one, the SoundCloud boy and, and the woman having a talk. Only watched about the first five seconds of that. What the fuck? Closing statement. I hate it here. And I think another thing that I struggle with when I think about that is that you know they're gonna enforce it on their children and then if their children don't follow those strict gender norms based on, you know, what they're saying to the internet, it's just gonna be a shit show. So that makes me sad inside. Cause you know, like if these people are so confident to go online and be like, we need this back, we have to be doing this, this is what's good. You know, they're gonna impose that on their kids and then if one of their kids turns out to be like gender non-conforming in some way, like ugh, it makes me sad cause it just breeds more hateful households. <sighs> And then they just have a miserable upbringing because of their parents. It makes me sad. Future generations that are still gonna breathe that kind of ideology into their kids. I'm here for you guys and I love you guys. I'll be your fucking dad. Daddy Sybil, don't call me that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Like I said, if you want any of Ali or I's socials, they'll be down in the description below. Like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Like I also said, Ali restocked Etsy, so there should be some Etsy listings and readings available. It's really fucking accurate, actually. It's kind of scary. Do you guys want to see something really cool? If I take, what am I going to take? How am I going to close the video? <gasps> Boyd's mouse. If I take Boyd's little Christmas mouse and I put it up against the camera, it looks like I said, bye. I am nothing but a bathroom sign. Now I take a big deep sigh. I don't wear drays. S S S S S. I don't wear drays. S S S S S.